day one of the Metals and Minerals Conference here in New York City. Joining me is Jonathan Moore. He's the senior vice president of the show. Jonathan, thanks for being with me again. Pleasure to be here with you. Thanks for having us. So last time we were together was in San Francisco. Yes. What's changed since then? Well, obviously we're in a challenging market. Uh, Commodity prices have been hit hard. Some of the mining companies hit it even harder. That's when insights and expert analysis really become important, and this event becomes really special. So we've got a great lineup over the next two days here for all of our attendees to interact with speakers and a great group of people here in the exhibit hall. So we're really excited about the event. Jonathan, obviously, probably one of the most important topics will be how mining stocks are suffering. And I know in the past you've said you're, you see that as a great buying opportunity. Uh, have your thoughts changed since then? No, not at all. If anything, it's even gotten more compelling. I mean, I think the thing about this marketplace and this audience, they know good value when they see it. The mining stocks have been hit particularly hard and are out of whack relative to what commodities prices should be. So I think that there really is a great buying opportunity, but at the same token, you've got to be careful and you've got to know and have your diligence lined up to be able to know which opportunities are the right ones. And that's where this event comes in. Jonathan, do you think it's a turning point for uh, mining stocks? Boy, I hope so. Um, it's been a tough market. Uh, obviously, that impacts our event and, and impacts the market in general. So we're really hoping that we're starting to see a trend here that's uh, on an uptick. Uh, we had a nice little bounce in gold. Uh, gave a little bit of it back, but a little bit of it back. But I think our, we're optimistic that maybe we're starting to see something. Right. And let's talk a little bit about uh, the speakers you have lined up. I know you have some big names, including Ron Paul. Uh, what can people expect? Yeah, Dr. Ron Paul uh, is, our, is our headline for this year's event. Uh, delighted to have him. Very excited. Paul Van Eden, Rick Rule. Um, it's, it's a nice combination of the traditional guys that we have. And we've also brought in some new names and some new faces and changed up the dialogue a little bit to get some more panel discussions and some more interactivity going. Well, we hope to have interviews with all these, uh, these folks you just named, Jonathan. Uh, finally, what other uh, topics do you think will be covered besides uh, mining stock suffering? There has to be some positive news here, Jonathan. Yeah, I, I, I think there is. And I think a lot of these uh, experts are going to talk about the trends that they see and the opportunity for us to, to come back out. And again, the buying opportunity that exists right now. Um, and, you know, and, any of these events, we have bulls and bears, and we have you know uh, different opinions on, on what's going to transpire, but that's what makes the event compelling and right. interesting for the attendees. I guess the number one fear is, yes, it looks like a good buying opportunity, but the question is, could we always go lower? Yeah, well... It, it I will tell you that the experts that we have here always tell you it's almost impossible to pick the bottom. Um, what you do have to look at is, is it a good buying opportunity right now? And the answer is yes. Now, will there be a better buying opportunity in a couple of weeks from now if it goes lower? Yes, there is. But there's capital that's sitting on the sidelines that needs to get put to work. And at some point, people have to look at the opportunities in front of them and say, hey, this is a compelling opportunity and jump in. Jonathan, thanks so much and good luck at the conference. Great. Thanks for having us. And thanks for watching our our first coverage at the Metals and Minerals Conference here in New York City. We'll have plenty of interviews for you in the next few days. In the meantime, you can email us at newsfeedback at or follow this conversation at Daniela Cambone. Thanks for watching.